This is a fun duet to play and is designed for a learner and a teacher. It would be a great piece in a concert or an exam. And of course, most learners would feel very confident having their teacher standing by them. The solo line goes like this. It has very clear dynamics, so the amount of bow that we use can reflect that. So there's a quiet section later on, which could use even as little bow as this. So it doesn't need to be much bow, but again, keeping that rhythm really secure all the time. The teacher's line has lots of short notes. And of course, that's designed specially so that we can hear the soloist very easily. At the end, it's got the opportunity to lift the bow in the air to give a little bit of drama like this. Now with all of those elements, it's worth preparing them in advance. So for example, that the end, we could perhaps do that on a scale. The key is G, so we could just do it on the scale of G like this. So then when they actually play those last two bars, they'll really be in the swing of it and they'll have learned the right hand element of that very clearly. With the opening rhythm, two crotchets and four quavers, again that's something we could do in a scale or an arpeggio as well at the beginning because they're on for their grade. So something like this. And then maybe on the arpeggio. and then maybe changing the fingers a bit more frequently. So anything involving those rhythms, but on a G, something in a G key scale arpeggio, anything they can improvise um, so they're really comfortable around the whole element, so the rhythm and the key. With the quiet section in the middle, again, that's something worth practicing, something like this. So they get the idea they can't just sit on one dynamic for very long, they need to vary it. And what can they do? You know, there are lots and lots of options, there's no right or wrong, but again, they could add some shaping and phrasing even at this grade one level. So for example, that quiet bit could go like this. anything like that that really helps them engage and make decisions about their own music making even at this level it means that when they actually perform it they'll have that sense of ownership and they'll really be committed to what they're doing <laughs>